Right, what are we going to put you in today, huh? What are we going to put you in? I swear you've grown again. I swear you have. What the hell? Right. You look so cute. Angel. Mummy just needs to talk to the camera for a second. Is that okay? Is that okay, my baby? <laughs> yeah. Can I tell everyone what we've been doing? Huh? Hi. Oh, I love these. Are they the new ones? These are new ones we bought before. Hello. Oh, she hadn't worn them yet. These are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Look at you. It's nine months though. Isn't that a good thing that I got that size? It is, definitely. Okay. She's tall. Oh, gosh. She is tall. Is she? Yeah. Look at the We're size of her. As well. You're so tall. Are you going to be a tall girl? Getting bigger. I think that come out of there. You <laughs> said this to me last time. Let's not relive it, okay? It's painful. I am vlogging my week. Oh, okay. Just so you know. Well, I know that now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit late now, isn't it? I'm already in it. Hey, Izana, how are you? We have a busy week, don't we, babe? Hmm? Oh, you want to cuddle? Are you wanting cuddles? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, I think it's cuddle time, my big girl. We have a very busy week going on, but I am absolutely exhausted today. <laughs> Woke up very, very tired, didn't I? Even though she gave me a little bit of a lay-in. But yeah, we have a lot to do, and the weekend ended up being super busy. So I don't feel like I've really rested at all. We ended up buying a new car, which was not planned. We went to view one, and we just loved it. So we ended up getting it then and there. We thought that we was gonna like take our time to choose one, but that did not happen. We just went for the one that we absolutely loved straight away. So that's all exciting, isn't it? We had to get a family car because I had a convertible, like an old convertible, which is just not practical for a baby. So I've not driven it since I had her and she's like three months now. So it's just been like sitting there. My partner Ben has been using it to keep it ticking over and stuff, but like it's not getting used properly because obviously trying to put a car seat over the seats and stuff with two doors is just not practical whatsoever. So we've been using my mum's a lot and Ben's car a lot. And yeah, now he sold his and, well he gave it to his sister actually, and I'm gonna sell mine and we've bought a new one. So that's exciting, isn't it, Papa? But yeah, so today I need to social media schedule, but I'm so behind where I didn't get everything done last week that I wanted to do. And I'm trying not to tell myself I'm behind. I'm trying to say like, you can only do what you can do. You're a mum and you're also juggling work stuff. And yeah, you're not gonna be able to do everything. So even though I feel behind, I'm like, nope, you're in your own timing. There's no competition. You're not rushing for anything. It is fine, but I needed to edit a video, a vlog, from like a month ago that I filmed and I haven't finished editing it whatsoever. Have we, baby? And I meant to do that last week. I also meant to do it the week before and I still have not got it done. So I might try and get that done today because I want it to go up on Thursday and today is Monday. So if I can get that done today, then that would be really helpful. But it does mean that my social media scheduling of like all of my social media content that I post, I tend to schedule it in advance. And if I don't do that today, then I won't be able to do that this week. So I may just have to skip this week and let that happen next week instead. I don't know. We're just going to kind of roll with it and see what happens because I have set days for set things. Otherwise, I just cannot fit it in. 
and then in the evenings most days Ben will watch Azaria by himself for like a good hour or so and I can go off and make music for an hour a day and then yeah gradually we'll be able to increase the length of time but it's just where she refuses to take to the bottle like I express some milk for her and she just Sometimes she'll take to it, but not very often. So we're trying to like work her up to wanting it so that people can watch her and I can take a break and go make music, especially. So yeah, hopefully in the future it will be longer than an hour, but for now we're just having to roll with her needs and however long she will allow me to leave her before she needs to be fed again. And she's a little and often kind of girl, aren't you? We've just done our morning routine of getting ready, getting dressed. I like to get myself dressed. I make a point. I said it from the very beginning of having her was that the one thing I must do for my own sanity is get myself dressed every day. And that is something that I've stuck to so that I feel fresh and don't feel like a new mum in pyjamas with messy hair and all of that. I'm like, nope, we're going to get ourselves dressed. So I've managed to do that every day and she tends to wriggle around in the mornings just on our bed while I get myself dressed and then like make the bed around her kind of thing so that is why I'm in a fancy outfit when I'm not going absolutely anywhere whatsoever today but it's fine it's just my like one thing for my mental health I have to do so that is why we are dressed in a nice outfit when we're actually not going anywhere you know that baby and I also get her dressed as well like it's a point that I make every day to get us both dressed and then we get in pajamas later on like it's just I don't know <laughs> I don't know if that's weird but it's just something that I like to do is a nice outfit during the day pajamas in the evening so now I'm probably gonna go do the first feed of the day like she's already had um, morning feeds and stuff because I feed her throughout the night where she co-sleeps with us safely my I add before people come for me we do co sleep don't we baby and it means that I get to just like breastfeed her and get a bit more sleep where I don't have to constantly get up or get her out of her cot so but we do have a cot next to our bed she just doesn't really sleep in it <laughs> so um yeah we're gonna go and do like the first morning feed and I'm gonna get myself a juice and then I like to journal so we're gonna do a bit of that help me baby I can't believe how big she's getting. The fact that I can sort of hold her on my hip now is crazy. It's so crazy. But yeah, let's go journal, have some breakfast, and then see what thing we can do next, depending on her mood. <laughs> we have to roll with her mood these days, don't we, baby? <laughs> Clever and bad there. Mummy's just stretching. Stretching. Oh, my shoulder just clicked. Stretching my buddy. Yeah. Zari has been so upset today. It has been highly frustrating to try and figure out what's wrong. So I'm just making my lunch early. And she is chilling with her nan, my mum. She is playing with a little music toy next to my mum while my mum works. So <laughs> that gives me a little break to just eat my lunch by myself because otherwise I have to eat with her there obviously and try and cater to her and stuff so every now and then my mum will just take her and allow me to actually enjoy my lunch to myself so that is what I get to do right now provided that she stays happy to play with her toy and yeah I'm just gonna whack something on YouTube and just sit here and eat my lunch because I feel like sensory overload where she's been crying so much this morning it's been really overwhelming <laughs> so I'm just gonna watch a YouTube video and eat my lunch and just chill out for a bit <laughs> also while she took a little nap earlier I tried to record a podcast episode and she woke up 
through it and then kicked off and stuff so <laughs> I have to like pause the podcast and I'll go back to it at some point when I'm able to finish recording it because yeah she just needed my attention so that's just what you got to do <laughs> but that definitely contributed to the overwhelm and also my cat started rubbing up at, up me at the same time so I was just like oh my god please people just can we just have silence <laughs> for a minute please <laughs> Stop now. Clever girl. Today is a huge, huge write off. Like, ugh. We're exhausted. Zari has been crying all day. So we're about to just go out get me out of the house for a little bit because I've been indoors all day dealing with her crying although she's actually kind of laying there pretty chill for the minute <laughs> finally but it's been a very very stressful day so we're gonna go out for food and then maybe do a little bit of shopping slash window shopping we shall see if we find anything I want to get a couple new plants because I have killed several of them <laughs> where it's very hard to look after plants when you're also trying to look after a child I feel like you have to prioritise what's more important to survive. <laughs> and I picked the baby, didn't I, babe? What? The child or plants? I picked the child. My plants have died. It's a fucking awesome you picked the child. Do you know what I mean? I think that's like a standard procedure. You know? I'm just Why explaining. Did you even it? No, I'm just explaining that it becomes a choice of like, oh, I can't do both. But I don't, I don't know if this is a good idea to vlog me anymore. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm just like proper simpleton with it. You know what I mean? I just simplify everything. Why would you not pick a baby over? I a did pick a baby. Hence, why my plants have died. Yeah, but why would that even be into consideration? Yeah, good. <laughs> Fuck your plants. You know what I mean? Hey, plants. Look, yeah, I'm just option. saying. I think you should pick. I think you should pick loads of things over plants. Check this out, right? Food. I know plants oh are my your gosh. food because you're like a big veggie and that. But, <laughs> right. yeah, at least you can make a leaf burger out of it. Shut up! It's not a fucking leaf burger. It has chickpeas in it. <laughs> he's a dick but anyway you get what I'm actually trying to say like it becomes a choice you have to prioritize things so obviously the plants got ignored a little bit because when I was this kid's gonna kick off. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> because I was dealing with <laughs> this kid <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna go out and this kid's gonna kick off. get some food this and kid's stuff gonna kick off. Ben's just getting her dressed oh, and off. trying to oh, prevent yeah. her from oh, crying yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I don't feel like myself. He spends his life singing to her just to Sometimes calm her down. I don't feel like I can relate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to be myself and I quit. Sometimes I don't you cry. Good morning. I am absolutely exhausted today. Why? Huh? Because you get me up so early, Azaria. <laughs> I'm so, so tired. But yesterday was just a complete write off. Like, Ben got home. He got home super early, to be fair, and she was just upset all day. So we both kind of agreed to just write the day off and go out. And that's what we ended up doing. And we did a little bit of shopping and I bought some plants. I didn't actually expect them to be that big compared to the size of the room. <laughs> you know when you see something in the shop and it looks incredible, but then when you get it home and you go to put it in the place, you're like, oh, <laughs> this is actually massive for the location that I had, but that's fine. But what I have done is got soil all over my bedroom floor. Are you okay, Bubba? <laughs> and um, I didn't get a chance to actually hoover it up because again she was very upset and I needed to get her to sleep here comes the cat peanut please get out the camera move it over baby good boy sit down sit down sit down man I don't know what accent that was but anyway I have soil all over the floor I also attempted to do my nails again and the nails st oh peanut seriously what are you doing? Go one side or the other, come on. Over there, thank you very much. 
Yeah, um, I also attempted to do my nails, and the nail stuff is also still on the floor, like the um, LED light thingy, and the drill is on the floor, next to the soil, and yeah, I had to just abandon the nails because <laughs> she was again getting upset. Every time I feel like I've got like a little window to do something, the window a lot of the times lasts way less time than I hoped for. So I was able to shower because she went to sleep and Ben was with her anyway. So if she woke up, then he would be with her. So I went and showered and then I made my toothpaste because I haven't been able to remake my toothpaste. I make my own like with coconut oil and some clay and some baking soda, baking powder. What the fuck is it called? not baking powder, bicarb, <laughs> bicarbonate of soda. And yeah, I haven't been able to like make that little mixture for a good week. So I've been using Ben's toothpaste because he does not enjoy mine. <laughs> so I was using his and it was like practically running out where I hadn't made my own. So I finally found a window to quickly make it. And then she woke up again. Then I found a window to start doing my nails. Then she woke up again and was like hysterically crying. So I'm just like, let me just abandon this right now. And I wasn't able to go back to it. So that is just chilling on the floor <laughs> at the minute. So what we're gonna do, we need to do some washing. And I found that when I need to do chores nowadays, because she's getting a bit older, instead of putting her in um, the slings that I used to wear, I wore them a lot when she was a newborn, but now I'm like, I think it's a bit hot for her to be in it. So now I just kind of hold her and then with the other hand, do my little household chores. Don't I baby? Except the washing up, because that's not really practical. I try and put her in her seat to be able to do the washing up. But again, sometimes she gets a bit upset and wants me, needs me to do something, so then I'm not able to do it. So we just kind of roll with each day. Every day is different. Isn't it my princess? Depending on what she needs. So right now she's actually pretty chill and allowing me to film this video. But then yesterday she wasn't too happy about it. So it's different every day. But yeah, so because I didn't do anything yesterday, I did not do anything to do with my work stuff and my creativity and everything. So today I need to do all of that. And normally today would be an elemental mirror day, so I'd be able to get back to creating the oracle cards I've been working on and print off the, I wanna print off the thank you slips that like you insert into the packages when you ship them and everything. But I have a video that's urgent that needs to go up on Thursday. So I'm gonna have to edit that today, provided I get a window to do it. <laughs> I'm going to be editing that video and then also I need a social media schedule. I also tried to film, like record a podcast yesterday and I had to pause that. So if I can finish it today, I will try to, but I only upload a podcast once a month. So it's not as urgent, like the start of August is when it needs to go up. So I've got a couple of weeks left to be able to do that. So that's okay. I have to like prioritize what's the most important. And that is definitely the YouTube video today, so that's what we're gonna attempt to do. Isn't it? Okay. But we need to go. go. Okay. Okay, my baby. Hey. We need to go downstairs and feed this little munchkin. We're gonna go feed her, start the day, do our little morning routine of journaling, aren't we? Listen to meditation music. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go feed her now. All right, baby, let's go. Okay, quick feed. The little baby got upset, didn't you? Oh, she's tired. Well, I fucked that up. <laughs> I'm just here trying to uh, put it all back together and I don't know how I'm gonna get all of this soil off the fucking bed. Like, honestly, 
what is the day what is this week not only that i forgot to mention that i bloody walked into this wonderful shelf yesterday when i was trying to paint my nails and like proper bruised my head i don't even know if you can see it right now but it's a bit sore and azaria was asleep and me and ben both burst out laughing but we were like trying to hold it in because she was sleeping and we didn't want to wake her up but we i literally was like crying with laughter when i walked into the shelf because it was just so funny but it fucking hurt <laughs> oh jesus i'm just remembering how much he was laughing and like he had his hand over his mouth and he was trying not to do it too loud but oh yeah she did actually wake up in the end <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what is going on with me this week. It's just not my week. But anyway, I need to try and get this soil off the fucking bed. Ah, oh, Jesus. And all of these little lecker balls. Just brilliant. <laughs> Big stretches. Isn't that right? Big stretch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my back really hurts, sorry. My back hurts. So Ben is finally home and I have a window to make music, which is what I'm trying to do every evening. Even if it's just for an hour, just take that little window, let Ben watch Sari and I get to make music. Otherwise my album's just never gonna get done. But because it's only a short window that's available right now, I haven't hoovered, so there's still soil on my floor, my pillow is still on the floor with soil on it, there's loads of crap everywhere and I'm literally just having to ignore it all, leave it there and just make music and then later on if there's another window one of us will clean it up. <laughs> Honestly you just have to like prioritise otherwise you can't do anything pretty much. I think there's the potential for me to just be doing housework 24 seven. So for me, I choose to kind of do a bit of both and prioritize my creativity and like music and videos and things. I will make sure that I can get that done and that oftentimes le means leaving housework till later, you know? Otherwise I'll just be doing housework 24 seven because there's always something that needs doing. So I tend to just leave certain things where they are like right now and just focus on the music and then I'll come back to this later and sometimes that just means having a bit of a messy space you know it just is what it is we have to prioritize and juggle it all so it's just the season that we're in right now but yeah so we're gonna do a bit of music and I need to stop rambling because I don't have long to do it I need to just load up my computer I tend to while the logic file is loading I will do some vocal exercises and then we can get on with this album. On this song, I've done like quite a bit to it already. So I'm just adding some background vocals and some like layers to the main vocal that's already recorded. Cause I recorded that the other week when I got to work on music. <laughs> I didn't get to work on music at all last week. So it's been a minute since I have touched this song, but I'm excited. We're gonna get these layers finished. Oh God, there's just so much to do on it. It's ridiculous. I've got two songs completely finished, but there's like 
six songs that are not finished <laughs> so i'm just trying to get on with it but yeah i'm gonna quickly switch on my vocal exercises while the logic file loads because it takes quite a while to load up where they're such big files and yeah let's do this here is the lovely song that we back to work on and this is the drum aux all the drums are done the instruments are done and then the lead vocals are done and then the backing vocals this is what i'm trying to work on right now is the background vocals and the harmonies and then i need to add some ad libs into it so i'm gonna listen through to it and then see what the hell i want to record and our little booth <laughs> i don't think i've showed you this yet actually we managed to carpet the booth <laughs> It's just temporary because the house is gonna be done up very soon. But until then, we just have random flooring that's being kept for a minute, but we had nowhere to store it, so it's in here. But anyway, it's a proper bodge job type of thing. We just carpeted the whole walls, and yeah, we just go in here, shut the door, and record the vocals, and we literally cut a hole. <laughs> like this is definitely a major studio on a budget okay <laughs> but it's only temporary and it definitely works for us for now and his playstation is up there i just went downstairs i finished my hour of music i went downstairs and ben and zari are both asleep on the sofa so cute love my little heart so i could have actually carried on doing music but never mind i think i'm gonna just get my laptop back out and carry on editing this vlog because honestly i've had this footage for a month and it's just not finished so while they're napping i might as well continue editing until zari wakes up because she'll probably want to feed when she wakes up so yeah a little bit of extra time for myself oh what i also want to do is wash my hair Maybe I'll wash my hair instead. See, like, I feel like I have to just choose between self-care and working and creating. Or, like, I probably have to prioritise what I want. My cat's come to see me as well. Hi, boy. Yeah, maybe I'll wash my hair because I am actually desperate to do that. And then I can chill afterwards. Put my pyjamas on. I probably should give Zari a bath today as well. Hi. What? And, um, yeah oh god too many things to do now i don't know what order to do things in <laughs> no i think we'll wash hair first then i can chill and edit the video with zari there kind of thing i don't know 